A bill that would create stricter penalties for those convicted of human trafficking minors has been voted down by the State Assembly's Public Safety Committee. The bill was authored by Senator Shannon Grove. 23 ABC's Corey O'Leary talked with both Senator Grove and, and local human trafficking awareness advocates to get their reaction. He joins us live in studio. Corey. In May, the bill passed the Senate 40 to 0. However, the same support was not seen from lawmakers yesterday in the Assembly Committee, with six Democrats abstaining from voting and two Republicans voting yes. So right now in the state of California, trafficking a minor child for sex is not considered a serious felony. Arson is, bank robbery is, carjacking, things like that. Using the real life example of Kawan Richardson, who was found guilty of trafficking minors in Bakersfield, Grove explains the difference the label of serious felony can make for repeat offenders. Mr. Richardson trafficked a 17 year old minor child in the in down south in, in Southern California, got in trouble, um, re and then went to prison, got out in four years, and then reoffended and came to Bakersfield and trafficked additional, I think it's three minor children. Our district attorney prosecuted Mr. Richardson, and he um, got a longer time in, in prison for his second offense. But if my bill was in place, it would be a strikeable offense, and he would not be able to negotiate down a lower prison sentence um, for his second offense. I've helped develop and supervise a unit at Child Protective Services specific to exploited and trafficked children in Kern County. Dr. Angela Look, who has been involved with the bill since its inception, has been to every hearing regarding this bill in its previous iteration, showed up Tuesday to speak in support of the bill. She's seen firsthand children who have been victims of human trafficking. Unfortunately, there is a need for this bill. I sincerely wish there weren't. Um, we have had our unit for about five years at Child Protective Services, specifically working with trafficked and exploited children in Kern County. We have worked with hundreds of kids and we've seen them in every area of Kern County. Look says due to easy access to major freeways, human trafficking is very prevalent in Kern County. Just this year alone, um, staff at Child Protective Services have gone out and investigated over 80 um, referrals of, of new allegations of exploitation of children here in Kern County. If that continues, it'll be over 150 just this year. Look supported the bill, but says harsher punishments for offenders is just one step towards confronting this problem. We need really good prevention services. We need education. We need to be in the schools more readily at younger ages to help um, instill in children um, better preventative skill sets so that they recognize what are healthy relationships, what self-esteem is, all of these pieces that if we can build up in our kids earlier, some of the, the vulnerabilities will be reduced. The measure was granted reconsideration, so it still has a chance of passing at some point. I hope um, and sincerely pray we can get the support that we need to have the assembly persons recognize the need for this bill so that perhaps it will be different with the reconsideration. Grove told me both the governor and the new speaker of the assembly reached out to her and expressed disappointment in the process. Grove described the future as the bill as fluid, but says her goal is to get it to the assembly floor and then bring it back for the Senate for a full vote on it so it can end up on the governor's desks. Now let's take a look at some signs of someone that might be involved in human trafficking as listed by the Department of Homeland Security. Children who have stopped attending school people under the age of 18 who are participating in commercial sex acts, people with commonly occurring bruises, often in various stages of healing, and those who frequently re respond in a fearful, timid, or submissive manner. Again, these are just some indicators of human trafficking. For more information, go to dhs.gov. In studio, Corey O'Leary, 23ABC News, connecting you.